Yo, what up? It's your boy. We're back at it. We're in Edgewater. Uh, let's see uh, who's no longer our friend. Of course, I think Reed Hobson uh, probably hates us at this point. With mostly good reason. There he is waiting for us. You want to know what gets my bio churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why, that power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. So I'm not intimidating enough to just, you know, tell him, hey, yo, run me these regulators. That's pretty loud. That was pretty loud. So our reputation with the deserters increased. Let's go ahead and uh, continue to up our shooting, our talking, and our stealth. We don't get a new perk, but she does. can make her into our sh shield or we can increase our engineering when she's near let's increase our engineering right okay okay keep them quiet like a dude over here in there Trying to sneak and get these power converters. Like we're going to the Tachi station. That guy sees us. The fucking door. Oh yeah, he definitely sees us. Can we just like sneak behind him? Is he that dense? Well, I guess he is. We're just sneaking along behind his him. I don't know which way he turns. I forget which one of these games had an execute. But I'm loud AF. Alright. How did you see that going? Boy, if I could shoot in this game. Oh yeah. Facer's choice is not going to be our friend. Absolutely not going to be our friend. But I'm going to take my power regulators. And we're going to try and dip. Let's see if these piles of ash have anything worthwhile. Not really. We smoked them all good. With a zappy boy. Feel like I'm playing Jinx. Just zap zap. Uh, let's see who else hates us.
Reed doesn't know we killed everybody. But he's just hanging out here. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Oof. She's a G. I like it. I like it a lot. How do I get out of here? Kind of walked myself into a corner. Fortunately, nobody's mad at me anymore. Because I killed them all. I'll go ahead and steal some parts. Ain't no shame in my game. We'll steal some parts. Is every door out of here sealed? Like, how do people leave? Do they just trap people in this cannery? Let's see we continue to root. Okay. Oh, there's a plague. Like a plague plague. Yeah, we'll do that all day. Alright. So we found the office and we jacked the stuff out the office. Kind of. Y'all were really running those into there and then pretending it was tuna? Yeah, that's why your shit jammed. He's fast. The Adelaide was right to leave. Desertion is a criminal offense, punishable by hard labor. Oof. Hmm? Is Reed hiding in there? Mr. Thompson is. is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. Okay. Maybe Adelaide was right with me. So we got some options now. Ooh, I thought that was the brewery, but maybe not. Oh, I guess everything's closed up. We fucked up the town so bad, they don't want to open the stores. You know how bad you gotta do people like, man, it ain't even worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our ship. Hopefully, this adventure is event free. I mean, we got our little zap zap now, so I'm not really worried about it. Like, you can run up if you want, you'll get disintegrated. Oh, it's a cave? Nice one. Crit it? Crit it him? We can handle this. Uh, no, we can't. What the hell? I would like to go back to saying what the hell? What the hell is in-ray damage? There better be some nice loot in this cave. Cause those primal beasts just lit us up. Down they go. Okay, there's probably some loot in that cave. Probably some loot in that cave. Alright, let's try and get back to our ship. With little to no incidents. 
I think that's our goal, really. Little to no incidents. Like, the more incidents, the worse it is. So there's some high tier loot in that cave over here. I know, because I've already died trying to get in there. Those beasts are not friendly. Okay, go on quiet. I think at least one of them. That guy's eating. They like come out of nowhere, if I remember correctly. Let's just leave them alone for right now. It's not worth that fight. I used to skip rocks in the river until Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. Wow. I think she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks her own self. Um. Seriously. Seriously, game. These are small falls. These are like regular human jumps. I can jump those with my old man legs. That's bogus. Can I sneak over here without somebody trying to kill me? Seriously, he fell like less than six feet. Killing me, game. All right, I guess this means we should be able to get back to space now, right? Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh, <laughs> listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. I have yep. imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yep. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. But now we got a riding partner. I can call you captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Alright. Me and my riding partner. But we now that we've got our power converters. Okay. I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Oh, damn. What can I do? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Of course. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. So far, I'm really appreciating the dialogue options. So, uh, I don't know where we're going from here. We got our power converters. Yep. That's making some power. Something you need? Okay. So I still don't know why I have to roll around with my gun out on my ship. Are we going to get boarded? Okay. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should Yep. We dipping. Oh. Look at our bogus looking ship. Ship looks like my first car. Oh man. So we can do that too. We can received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. 
How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, yeah. that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Okay. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Yeah. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. I smell a boss fight. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Kelly. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Marvelous device. I'm quite mm. proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. It sounds kind of hype. The holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Okay. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. All right. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. I think my guy's been played. Ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. I think my guy's been played out before. So he wants me to go somewhere. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Was not paying attention when he told us where to go. I guess here. It's the one with the thing. Well, let's go zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. Supernova girl. I don't know Back if we're still doing Xenon. Shout out to Disney Plus. Oh, I forgot we could sleep. Can we talk? Sure. Hey, Captain. I heard the Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing this by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Okay. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. So we're going to Did engineering. Did you want to talk about something else? 
Yep, that's all. There's like quarters up here where I can take a nice nap. Oh, right. I want to take the holographic shroud. He's got a best friend. Okay, maybe not a best friend, maybe a stalker. mad scientist some years back who claimed he'd made a huge discovery the hammer's power okay okay so we need to steal his power weapon and uh do some other shit. Seems legit. Seems legit. So I think we're actually going to make this a short episode. Um, we actually made some hardware changes to our computer. Um, so you may notice that... What? Wait, we have a robot? I was going to say there's been a lot less dropped frames, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my shit. Where should I? I'm not stealing stuff from my stuff. Okay, so there's a bunch of different quarters. Ah, oh, you can keep like a bunch of different friendos with you. I think. That's pretty cool. And there's a toilet. But, uh, thank you for coming along for my tour of the Unreliable. Um, but yeah, we're going to cut this episode a little bit short. Um, made some good improvements to our, uh, to my rig in real life. And, uh, we're just going to be enjoying making more content faster. No longer talk to me an hour to render a 30 minute video so uh yeah hope y'all have a good time come on back we're gonna have adventures in the groundbreaker we're gonna meet june lay tennyson and uh go from there so later internet feel free to like comment subscribe all the regular youtube stuff uh, and we'll be back